Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and this is Christopher Drag. Hey, what's up, people? Uh, if you want to check out our video we did uh, last night, uh, the Florida Everblades video. Yeah, we covered their uh, training camp roster, talked about their upcoming season a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's on our YouTube page. Yeah, we're back on YouTube. So go over there, give us some views. Um, Watch yeah. time would be key. <laughs> um, yes, you can look it up at uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville on YouTube. Yeah, uh, we're going to get consistent, put videos up there. So, you know, not every video is going to be on Facebook. Um, yes. Uh, also, our show is brought to you by the wonderful sponsor, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Or you can visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. They will outfit you for all your hockey needs. Skate sharpening by hand. All customer care, all the best place to go. And they have a lot of CCM gear. It's a good quality hockey brand. So, uh, yeah, if you need your uh, hockey gear, CCM would be the way to go. Correct. Um, so why we're here today, as we promised last week, and we did a little short video on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Or the day after Thanksgiving, I'm sorry. We went in turkey coma. Black Friday. Yeah, we did a video on Black Friday saying how uh, in the system, because of the holiday, they didn't play much and, you know, um, all those things. So we're here. We said we were going to do this. So here's in the system. And the system is where we cover everything Nashville players, not in America or in college. Well, in college or not in America. Yeah, basically we'll cover all the players that they sent overseas just to get some ice time during the whole shutdown that's currently going on. Or or have not been signed to their entry level contract yet. Yeah, that too. All right. So starting up top on uh, their uh uh guy who has not signed his ELC yet, which is entry level contract. Yeah. Um is Isaiah Walter. Uh he plays left and right wing for uh Soldier Soldier J. Um, SKJ20 in the J20 National League uh, in uh, Sweden. Uh, he has 18 games played, eight goals, nine assists, 17 points, a minus one, and is averaging 0 0.94 points per game. Also has 18 penalty minutes. Um, we also have, uh, then we have uh, Yusuf Parsonen. He plays for TPS. Uh, TPS is in Liga in Finland. Uh, he has uh, 18 games played, Two goals, ten assists. So must be a like a pa play a pass first kind of guy. Yeah. Um. He has uh averaging a zero point six seven points per game, eighteen penalty minutes and minus six. Um. You want to take the next two? All right. We got uh Ellie Tolvanen, left and right winger. He plays for Yogurt in the KHL. Twenty games played. He has four goals, six assists. Uh, then we got Igor Afanasenev. He is a winger uh, slash center. He plays for, uh, who is that? CSKA Moskova in the KHL. Four games played, uh, two goals and an assist. He also spent some time in, I'll let you get that one, Dan. <laughs> okay, sure. Leave me with that one. Uh, it is the Karskina Armania Moskova. Um, and it's in the MHL, which is their uh, KHL's minor league, which is basically their AHL yep. down there. And he's played uh, two games. It has two goals, uh, averaging a point per game. Um, and then uh, also, it's now pronounced Igor. So it's, it's uh, Igor, but I remember it's Igor or Fenerson. No, it's Igor, but I went with uh, a. Is it Afanasiev? Uh, it's Afanasiev. But it's uh that was a uh, young Frankenstein joke. Um, it's now pronounced Igor. So it's <laughs> Igor Afanasiev. All right. Um, and then we have Adam Wilsby. Uh, he plays for uh, Skolafia IKA in uh, Sweden, uh, in the Sweden Hockey League. Uh, he played 19 games, one goal, four assists, five points, uh, plus five, 12 penalty minutes. Not bad for a defenseman. No, not at all, not at all. Um, and then we have Yakov Trenton playing for SKA St. Petersburg at the KHL. He's played 16 games, three goals, one assist, uh, has 10 penalty minutes and a plus three. Yeah, expect to see him back in Milwaukee or in Nashville. 
Uh, same thing with uh, Tolvanen, Afanas, and Afanasiev, and there's a couple others on this one. Yeah. Um, uh, Alexander Campbell is playing, uh, has now got his debut in uh, at Clarkson University. Uh, remember last year we were covering the USHL. Yeah. Um, and at Clarkson in his first three games, three points. Yeah, one goal, two assists. Um, and a plus one, not bad for a start in college. You're a little, the competition's a little higher than the USHL. Uh, the guys are a little more hungry in college because some of them aren't drafted and they, they need to make a name for themselves or they're not going to play pro. Yeah, and they can't accept money for food or else they'll get kicked off the team because of the NCAA. Uh, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about their rules and stuff. Um, and then, uh, uh, Vladislav Yurmenko. We've been talking about this guy for three years. He's a years. defender. He plays for Dynamo Minsk in the KHL. He has 25 games played, one goal, two assists. And uh, Goose Egg from the plus minus. A lot better looking this year than last year in the KHL, which is a good thing for his product, uh, for his development. Yeah. Um. Uh. Then we have Simeon Simeon Chiskov. Uh, Chisyakov. Oh, God. I'll get it. I'll get there. Yeah. It's <laughs> uh, early in the offseason. <laughs> um, he has 28 games played with the Avard Omens team in the KHL. He has uh, one goal, two assists, three points. Uh, point oh, zero. avant-garde. Omens. Yeah. Uh, he has a uh, plus one in six seven minutes. I uh, want to talk about the guy from Notre Dame. Then we got Spencer Spatsney. He's a defenseman. He plays for the University of Notre Dame. Uh, four games play. He has an he has a goal and an assist. We are we actually got to see Spatsney play. Uh, what was that? Two weeks ago when the Badgers played Notre Dame. Yep, uh, when they opened the season. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Notre Dame's helmets for hockey, by the way. No, nah, they're better looking uh, for football. Then we got uh, the villain, Frederick Allard, defenseman. He plays for Wilshire SV of the ICEHL. Uh, it's uh, the uh, Austrian Hockey League. Uh, he has, uh, go ahead with the stats. He has uh, two games played and all he has is a goal. Uh, and a minus one. Um, okay. And that's then, right, you're the plus minus. Yeah. Correct. That's a stat that's important to me. Um, uh, Mark Delgazio, uh, plays for U UMass Amherst, two games played, one assist, plus two. Uh, then we have Joachim Kondalik. Uh, I'm a, I believe that he will be a good addition to any team. Do you uh, think he's ever going to sign with the, um, he, uh, he'll probably sign with the Preds. Uh, he's got a lot of upside. Um, uh, he's, uh, a six foot seven forward. Lots of upside. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, he has uh, two games played, no points, and a minus one. Uh, then we have Chase McLean. Uh, I believe he was most recently drafted. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, but Chase McLean, he plays for Penn State University. Uh, three games played, no points, and a minus one. What? He, he's, he plays for st the state Penn? <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Um... Upcoming in December, uh, Boston, University of New Hampshire, Northeastern, and um, those teams will get going eventually. Yeah, college hockey here in the States, it's slowly starting. They got it all spaced out because of the COVID stuff. Um, also, the OHL will be playing starting in January, so we'll yeah. be having some there. Um, so, talking about the goalies, um, Goalies, uh, there's only one in the VHL, which is uh, juniors, and that's Konstantin Volkov. He plays for Yuguri, Kantny, Manska. He plays for the, in the VHL Hockey League. Uh, 11 games played, 1.62 goals against average with a point two, uh, 0.926 save percentage. What a stack. Um, but much looking, uh, better looking over here is Yaroslav Askarov from SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL. He was the Nashville Predators, number one overall, well, number one pick for the Predators. Went number 11th overall, but no, yeah. yeah, he was their first round pick. Uh, seven games played, 0 0.96 in the goal, in the KHL with a 0.962 save percentage. Don't get much better than that. No, 
I wonder what St. Petersburg's record is in the KHL. Not a hundred percent sure. If he's playing that good, I wonder what his win losses. But we'll get into that. All right. Uh, then we have uh, Thomas Vamaka playing for the University of Connecticut. He is a Czech-born hockey player playing in the NCAA. He has two games played, three point three six goals against average at a point nine one five save percentage. Why would he got Askarov on there twice? He is now playing also in the VHL for the under-20 league um, for uh, SKA Neva St. Petersburg. He has uh, two games played for them. He has a 2.52 goals against average and a .900 save percentage. Not much better playing against the younger group, but against guy, against grown men, plays much better. I guess when you put the spotlight on him, he shines. When you don't, you're like, ugh. Um, that's not good. He should be hungry no matter what situation. I, I think that some also, it may be that, um, you know, he's getting used to the guys in front of him. So sometimes that may be a uh, growing pain. Yeah, well. it's true. And now we got Connor Ingram. He's currently playing for IF Bajorkovin. Mark Lovell. Like you said. Uh, he plays for hockey, all Slovakian. It's the uh, another league in Sweden. Uh, he has four games played, three point, uh, uh, even 3.00 goals against average and a 0.87 save percentage. Um, then we have Ethan Hader, uh, plays for Clarkson University. Ouch, look at that goals against. Holy crap, he must have got torched. A 6.70. Look at the save percentage. I haven't seen one that low. Yeah, yeah. But he only had one game, and I doubt Clarkson University is even that good of a team. But he only had one game. That's college. Then, you know. The uh, same percentage was point zero seven zero zero. Not that good. Uh, Clarkson does have another uh, 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 Predators player, uh, Alexander Campbell. Yeah. Uh, so, um that's it, dude. Mm. Uh, the only players not to play so far is Devin Cooley and uh, Kazmir Kaskasuo. And uh, they're all AHL, and obviously the AHL and NHL hasn't started yet. Um, so we we got a lot to look forward to. Uh, yeah, give it about a week or two, and Marty's college is a pop-up. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I was right. Chase McClain was drafted in the seventh round by Nashville this last season. Okay. Just so I was double checking my stuff. Hey, I'm not gonna argue with you. You just want to make sure you got the proper set out there. All right. Uh, so for more content from us, uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything that you would like us to talk about or uh, or uh, give our input on. And please give us a subscribe and a hit the notification bell on, on YouTube. YouTube. Watch our videos. You know, help us get our watch time. I'm trying to get monetized over there. Um, it ain't going to cost you a dime, but we're just trying to make some cash. It costs you time, and us, we're trying to make a dime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're putting time in. We want to see some money coming in. But uh, we will also be seeing you guys probably later in the week. With or some... later in the week or sometime next week, you know. We do got some uh, Florida Everblade coverage coming up because their season starts next week. So you will be hearing from us on a more consistent basis. Uh, Which is a good thing, because it's been too long since we've pumped out consistent videos like this. Yeah, it's been hard with lack of news, which is why we're not as, um, even on the Facebook side, we haven't been as. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing noteworthy. And, yeah. it's, it's, it's getting tough, but. When... Yeah, we're dealing with the crappy hand that we're given. I mean, COVID's affecting everybody not just podcasters it's affecting everybody so they're handing us limes and telling us to make lemonade yeah exactly it, they're giving us chicken crap and they want us to make chicken salad out of it, it yeah it, this 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 year 2020 is a wash Gr luckily for us there's only a uh, one month available and then it'll be 2021 and hopefully crap will get better um, but we will be seeing you guys probably on the 5th to give an update on how the Florida Everblades did in their preseason games. 
Yeah, and then we'll also do like a season preview, you know, a little bit of a refresher on how the ECHL is going to be operating. It'll give us some time to dive into the ECHL. Also, we're, we're going to probably end up covering that whole league just because if we have a lack of uh, lack of content, we need to do something. Yes. Also, um, our talks of uh, uh, he is, as you all know, a Wild fan, and uh, I'm a Sabres fan from back before Nashville was a team. Yeah. Um, there's talks that uh, if the AHL does not happen, that we will jump into covering them as well. Yeah, if the AHL don't happen, we're going to end up branching off and covering the whole NHL, essentially. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to cover one team from each division, if that was what I was remembering correctly. Yeah. And then news, if I remember that's how we worded it. Cause well, we already got the Predators covered in the Central. I'm not touching the Wild. Uh, <laughs> I, I like them, but I'm not touching Minnesota with a 10-foot yeah. with a ten foot clown pole. That, that's a dumpster fire. He'll, he'll go cover Vegas. I'll cover Vegas, and I'll cover probably Washington. And then the Canada teams, uh, well, I'll take, take, the, a I'll, take the, I'll take the Edmonton McDavid's. Knowing me, I'll probably cover the Flames. Yeah. So we'll all anyway, have. Anyway, a- we're just uh, we're just rambling now because hey, you know, we need to get content out there. But that's been our uh, video for in the system. Like and an said. update from us of what we're planning if thing, things things. Giving don't you work. a heads up that we do have a backup plan. So. Um, talk to you guys later. Yeah, uh, like I said, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, like us on Facebook, go to hockeylockermilwaukee.com and give our sponsors some support. You know, like I said, CCM gear. I'm wearing a warm CCM Admiral hoodie. They don't sell this hoodie at Hockey Locker, but they do sell CCM products. Um, and uh, we will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.